What is the risk to your life when you're diagnosed with breast cancer? The answer is usually reassuring. When you're diagnosed with breast cancer, the first thing that crosses your mind is, what is the threat to me? Am I gonna die of this? Well, most of the time, the threat to you is less than you would think. Most physicians sort of tippy-toe around this topic, and most patients don't specifically ask, what is the threat to my life of my unique breast cancer? I wanna outline for you a framework for understanding the threat to your life based on your stage and other factors regarding your unique breast cancer. In this lesson, I'm gonna share with you the general threat posed by breast cancer. And I'm gonna to explain to you why five years, the five year period of survival is a benchmark for just about everything we talk about success in breast cancer. I'm gonna share with you how stage is related to survival. And I'm gonna go through precancerous stage, early breast cancer, and later stage breast cancer. And then I'm gonna share with you how some tumor factors can impart an increased risk beyond stage to you and your life from a breast cancer. So let's get started. How threatening is breast cancer overall? Well, it is a threat. We all take it seriously, all breast cancers. And when it's you, it's personal. Most patients, especially when we look at everyone, do very well. Of all comers with breast cancer, and we average them all together, after five years, 90% of patients are alive and at five years. And at 10 years, that chance is 83%. And that includes early stage cancers combined with late stage cancers. But of course, there's a difference between the two. Five years, you've already heard me mention it, you are going to hear it again from your doctors, your nurses, and you're gonna hear it again in this lesson. Five years is a benchmark. It's a benchmark that we use to treat a patient and follow them for a long enough period of time to determine whether they are doing well or not, if they've survived or not, or if their cancer has come back or not. So five years is one of those benchmarks that it's not that your cancer will not come back after five years or before five years, but it is a benchmark that we use that we can understand and communicate with patients. And you will hear more about that next as I walk you through the stages of breast cancer and the risk to you. What is the risk to my life with early stage breast cancer? I'm gonna walk you through three early stage breast cancers. Stage zero, one and two. Stage zero, called DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. The way to think about it, it's sort of a precancerous change in the breast. Accounts for about 20% of all breast cancers. But if you have DCIS, you are going to do well. When you treat it, the chance of it coming back and threatening your life in one form or another in the next 10 or even 20 years is about one to 2%. Do treat it as recommended. Stage one breast cancer. Now we're pivoting to invasive breast cancer, which can threaten your life. Stage one breast cancer, when the tumor is about two centimeters in size or less, has an excellent outcome. The risk to your life in the next five years is about one to 5%. If you have cancer in your lymph nodes, maybe one or two lymph nodes and a small lump, which is a stage two breast cancer, or maybe no cancer in your lymph nodes, and your tumor's three or four centimeters in size. Stage two breast cancer has about a 15% chance of threatening your life in the first five years. Next, I'm gonna to pivot to later stage breast cancer and describe how the risk to your life goes up with stage three and four breast cancer. And I'm gonna follow through afterwards telling you about the tumor biology, tumor factors, that can make one stage even a little bit more threatening based on these tumor factors. What is the risk to me when I have a later stage breast cancer? Well, we're gonna talk about stage three and stage four breast cancer. Briefly, stage three breast cancer means the tumor is larger, 
there's a good chance there's cancer in the lymph nodes and it's a bigger threat to you. And the risk to your life over the first five years with a stage three breast cancer on average is about 25 to 30%. Stage three breast cancer also includes inflammatory breast cancer. That's about 5% of all breast cancers. And if inflammatory breast cancer has not gone elsewhere in the body, it can be treated and cured, but the risk to someone's life with a stage three inflammatory breast cancer is about 50% over five years. So it's a real threat. Stage four breast cancer. That means that you have distant metastasis. That means cancer cells have traveled from the breast to other organs or other parts of the body, the bone, the brain, the liver, or elsewhere, lodged there and is growing. It can be treated and people can live long and do well, but it is felt to be a major threat if you have metastatic disease and it's a higher risk to your life beyond stage three and it's hard to predict how long people will survive based on the types and the tumor biology. And that is what I'm gonna to talk to you next. Tumor factors, which ones impart an increased risk to you? How do tumor factors in breast cancer and which ones can increase the risk to my life from my breast cancer? This is a complex topic, but when we're doing our best to give you an educated guess of the threat to your life over the next five years, we factor in the stage, tumor size, whether cancer is in the lymph nodes or elsewhere in your body, and we now factor in tumor biology, tumor stage. Another way to think about it is aggressive tumor cells or less aggressive tumor cells. So two types that if you have these tumor types, the risk to your life is somewhat higher than the numbers that I quoted for stage one, two, and three breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer, it's an aggressive tumor. It can be treated and cured, and is predominantly treated with chemotherapy. But if you have a stage one or two breast cancer, but it's a triple negative breast cancer, the risk to you is a little bit higher than the numbers I just quoted you. If you have a HER2 positive breast cancer, and you can learn more about triple negative and HER2 positive cancers on our lessons on these topics at the Breast Cancer School for Patients. But if you have a HER2 breast cancer, you will invariably benefit from chemotherapy and targeted immunotherapy. But if you have a stage one, two, or three breast cancer, the risk to you is a little bit higher than the numbers that I quoted because the biology of this tumor is a little bit more aggressive and threatening to you. Breast cancer is a serious problem and we can guesstimate the risk to your life, but it is an inexact science. Luckily, the overall survival with breast cancer when you undergo comprehensive multidisciplinary breast cancer treatment is pretty good, if not excellent. Ask your breast cancer specialist what they think the risk to you is ahead for your unique breast cancer situation. To learn more about Will I Survive Breast Cancer, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we will teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.